Hello everyone, I am Harshika Singh from CSX and IT Kurukshetra and in uh, today's video I will show you the few experiments uh, regarding clustering and uh, dimensional deduction on Weka. So let us uh, open the explorer window and like any other uh, experiment we first of all need to load the data set. Uh, <coughs> I am navigating to the path where the installation has been done and there I will open the sample one of the sample data for example I am choosing this iris data set for my purpose so this contains the five attributes and 150 instances and now move to the cluster section and here we can choose our cluster algorithm for example simple k means and by clicking on this field we can change the number of clusters and various other attributes like here number of clusters are two so let it remain two and run the algorithm <coughs> by visualizing the cluster we can see uh, the two clusters red and blue have been formed and now try it with three clusters here i am changing the number of clusters to three and maximum iterations also uh, we can change for example here it is 500 we can have 700 and initialization method is uh, random uh, okay the initial series that are being selected in k means are at rent will be selected at random fine so now again run the algorithm and see the results so i have uh, clicked on visualize clusters we can see the three clusters uh, red blue and green namely this is cluster one blue color is cluster zero and green is cluster two this key is given uh, here in the bottom you can see the uh, class in this class color section fine so now let us move to the another algorithm which is db scan algorithm so we can choose db scan and we can again see what we can change in this so by clicking on db scan here distance function is chosen as euclidean we can choose any other distance function also so let us let it remain euclidean and start the db scan algorithm so this is the output of the cluster algorithm so basically these are the cluster assignments in this window uh, being written uh, for example this 149th instance it has uh, belongs to cluster one and let me scroll up so this 68th is on cluster two and this 0th instance is uh, has been assigned to the cluster zero uh, is, is a part of cluster zero and we can ha have the visualization also by right clicking here on the result section result list so this is the cluster assignment uh, we can change again the sitter for uh, better visualization and we can have uh, accord uh, according to our need we can change the x and y uh, attributes on the x and y axis here so now let us move to the next algorithm which will be uh, which is hierarchical clustering so <clears throat> i'm choosing the hierarchical cluster and again i'm starting the algorithm so this uh, is the cluster zero uh, in this window you can see output is being given and these are the clustered instances so right clicking uh, we can have again the visualization of clusters cluster assignments the two clusters have been formed and we can also have the visualization of the tree here in this algorithm so this is the radical clustering tree that is formed fine so now let us move to the dimensional reduction so dimensional reduction there are for that there are various algorithms one is principal component analysis method so i am choosing this uh, under this section first of all we need to go to this select attribute section in this attribute evaluator we can choose the principal components and this uh, veka is suggesting that we have to uh, use the ranker search method for uh, using principal component analysis so i am choosing yes so here the class attribute is we can also uh, you know uh, if we have the target attribute in the data set we can choose this here no class attribute is selected but in data set this attribute is present so i am selecting this 
and starting this so this is the complete results which are of uh, for example these are the eigen vectors uh, after which we get a while running this principal component analysis so we can visualize the transformed data we can save the transformed data uh, we can save this buffer or delete this also so let us visualize the transformed data so this is the kind of visualization we get we can increase the jitter pointer size plot size and we can select any of this for visualization yes uh, this is expanded so this blue color is iris setosa and this red color uh, instances are of iris versicular let me click on one of the data point so we can have okay so we can change the, this color and x and y attributes again uh, as we did as we can have done in the previous algorithms or previous experiments so on uh, i have chosen this as x-axis where x-axis represents the class information and y-axis is uh, calculated being uh, by this formula so basically uh, this formula has been uh, derived uh, uh, by using the principal component analysis with the help of the eigenvalues and eigenvectors we got so by this i conclude this video for today and this is marks the end of this awake video series thank you